Hey guys, welcome to the Dutch Round Table. I'm Ryan, that's Tyler, that's Jordan. As you can see, we are not inside, we're outside at our block party. We got our neighborhood here. We're going to answer some questions that they all gave us in this jar right here. Jordan, do you have a talk yet? I'm going to let you answer the first question. I appreciate this great honor. Let's get cracking. Okay. Thank you for all your enthusiasm. This question is, how do you play football? <laughs> well, um, you know, I could go on for a while on this question. Let's just say a football is a thing you throw. You can either run it, you can pass it, you try to get the end zone, you can get a field goal. And um, I'm not going to explain it all to you, but that's how you play football. Yeah. Yeah. That was a great explanation. <laughs> Waiting for the next question. What does it mean when they say first down? Well, when they say first down, that means that you have got, well, you got four downs in football, and the first down is the first down. You got four chances to get 10 yards to get a new set of downs. So when it's first down, that means it's your first set of those chances. Great explanation, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, right. So far, these have been pretty uh, simple football questions, but you know what's going on with that? All right, let's see what we got next. Did the Saints get robbed by the refs? I think we should all answer Yeah, we should all answer this. This is a great question. Um, no, that should not have been a penalty, but Drew Brees and the Saints had a chance to score in overtime at the end of the game. We just said no, that should not have been a penalty. No, that should, that should have been a penalty. I'm saying they didn't get robbed because they had a chance to score in overtime but could not capitalize on it. Bad call by the rest, but that happens all the time. Yeah, these referees are human, but the real thing is the Saints had the ball in overtime and had a chance to drive down the field and win. So, no, they did not get robbed. And yes, it did hurt their chances. They had the ball in overtime and they couldn't get it done. Middle, I'm not on both sides. I believe what you guys said, but um, I also believe that when they got that, when they were in that situation, that pass interference, that would put them. With, were they inside the? They were in the red zone, correct? Oh yeah. The so Drew Brees in the red zone in a playoff game, you always expect him to score. And even that throw, the ball he hit got intercepted. You wouldn't expect to see that from Drew Brees. So I do believe that they they get robbed, but they still had a chance to win that game, and they ended up doing it. So that's on them. And uh, since I have the mic, I have a question. So. It's louder when I go like this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what this one says. Can we be on something? <laughs> Can we be on YouTube? Well, if you're standing behind us right now, you will be. So. <laughs> yeah. 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 Welcome to YouTube. I'm going to answer another one. <laughs> I like this question. This is our first real, uh, besides that last one, but this is a good question. Should Kyle Allen start over Cam Newton? So a little bit of background. Cam Newton got injured in the season. He was playing really bad. Was it a foot injury, I believe? Yes. Whatever it was, but um, Cam Newton, he is, was out, and he's still coming out for a few weeks. So back at quarterback, Kyle Allen came in. He's 3-0 this year, has not lost a game, and he's playing great. That team is looking great. And... First of all, I'm a little biased on this one because I am not a fan of Cam Newton. I never have been, so I'm sorry for the Panthers fans, if any. But I do believe that Kyle Allen should start. He's been playing great. That team has really rallied around him. And it's not, of course, all of him. We have Christian McCaffrey, one of the greatest running backs in the NFL, possibly as Saquon Barkley is hitting the greatest playing at this time. So I believe that Kyle Allen should continue to start over Cam Newton. Okay. Agreed. Thank, Thank you. you. Why is Mitch Trubisky struggling? No, 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 no. That's not what it says. All right. You want me to say how it is? Yeah. All right, I'll say how it is. No. Oh, yeah. All right, fine. I'll answer how it is. The question is red. Why does Mitch Trubisky suck? I, I, I just wanted, I'm trying, no, I don't want to beat that you know, with specific requests. All right, the question is why does Mitch Trubisky suck? Well, the Bears, the, Bears, the strength of the Bears is their defense, and I feel like Mitch Trubisky, he's, He's, the problem with him is he's making the same mistakes. Um, he's sometimes got to do a better job of scanning the field. But, you know, I think that as long as he progresses better, gets some time, I think he will be better. I mean, there are a couple quarterbacks that are, that, from that draft class that were way better than him. But, you know, 
I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of booze if I talk about how the Bears uh, maybe should have taken someone else. But I think with time, Mitch Trubisky will slowly uh, progress, but it's just a process. Uh, I just want to say that I do believe Trubisky can be a good quarterback. This is his third year. By this time, he should be progressing. Now, the first year of his rookie season, he had no receivers. John Fox was the coach. They were not in a good situation at all. Then last year, with Matt Nagy, the first, first year, we thought, okay, he's getting used to this new offense. you got to give him a chance. Now in the second year with this new offense under Matt Nagy, you got to wonder why this guy is continuing to struggle. And I think it's just because he, he just gets a little nervous in those games, especially at the beginning, because he just doesn't doesn't feel comfortable in the pocket. He, doesn't, he does not feel comfortable with people around him trying to sack him like they're going to do. He needs to get a little more just comfortable in the pocket. And I think he will be a lot better. Obviously, accuracy and arm strength with our problem as well, but those are fixable. Yeah, I, I'm with you, Tyler, but I also believe they need to get that run game, game going in Chicago. That's really going to help out Trubisky. You need to get that run game going because it all starts with the run game. If you get the run game going, that starts play action, and play action is always a great thing, especially for a quarterback who's struggling because the defense will bite on the run and the pass will be wide open. So that's something that, that uh, the Bears need to get going. But I think Trubisky will improve. He has had time at this point. But I think he's going to prove him. And we were talking, Brian, me and Tyler and Ryan, we have a group chat. We were all talking to each other. This is like basically the exact question we were talking about. And Ryan was saying uh, how he's been making the same mistakes. Well, I, I can see that as a good thing because he's not he's not adding to mistakes. He's doing the same mistakes. And the mistakes that I see are mistakes that he makes. So we'll see what Mr. Trisky can do. But I'm excited to see what the first team will look like. Moving on to our next question. Um, it's a simple question. When did it start? I'm assuming it is this YouTube channel. Um, I was doing it. And it was sometime in June. Ryan's saying June 6th. So it's been a yeah. story. So we were just having a sleepover one time, and Ryan has his own YouTube channel. And I was like, hey, wouldn't you guys think it was cool if we did our, our YouTube channel with just us, us three? And we were like, yeah, that's a good idea. So we just talked about it for like the entire night and came up with this, with what you see right here. Thankful for that night. <laughs> All right, we're gonna. I think there's a lot. There's, there's a couple more, so we'll try to finish them off. Oh, we will finish them off. Yeah, if I can get them out. We're stuck. Still stuck. Use the pen. Use the pen. My dad is saying. Don't worry, we'll answer all your questions. Yeah, we're getting to them. Just want to make it challenging for us. Yeah. Yeah. We'll try to make these answers as quick as possible. Uh, who is the defensive player of the year right now? This is a great question. Um, so in the league right now, there's been a lot of defensive studs. Um, but I'm going to answer this one biasly. I'm going to have to say Khalil Mack. Partly because I haven't been able to watch a lot of other players. But also the front runner who won it last year, Aaron Donald. He has not been playing his best season. He is who all three of us were thought was going to be the defensive player of the year. So Khalil Mack, he's been wrecking havoc in the Bears defense. He's been doing great things, and he's in some games he's kept the Bears in the game, in games just by himself. He's been doing great things, and he makes the whole defense improve just from his presence being there. So at this moment, Khalil Mack is my defensive player of the year. Well, this is a good one. Who will win the AFC South? Well, I mean, <laughs> come on. I mean, this is obvious. Well, Coincidence that the, the Texans fan is having this question. Oh <laughs> well. This isn't even a question. This is a fact. The Houston Texans will win the AFC South. They're going to win more. They're going to win a playoff game. They're going to they're win true man. They're true media. Yeah. The Texans are the best team in that division. Deshaun Watson is progressing. The offensive line is getting better. Yeah. Yeah. My reasoning for why the Texans will win the AFC South, okay? Deshaun Watson is getting better. He got sacked zero times last week. And people have been asking, Deshaun Watson is good, but how good is he when he has protection? Well, go watch those highlights from that Texans Falcons game last week. That is Deshaun Watson with protection. Deshaun Watson, that could be a top five quarterback in the league. Deshaun Watson, that can find his receivers, Hopkins and Fuller, and even get the tight ends involved in the game. 
This is taking a while, because there's a lot of reasons <laughs> that the Texans are going to win the AFC South. The defense is going to get J.J. Watt with the versus The Texans are going to win the AFC South, and maybe you go even further in the playoffs. I just want to say they have, they have two other good teams in that division that have um, been fighting, uh, as well as the Titans as well. They're not doing too bad. But Gardner Minshew and the Jaguars are doing just fine. And the Colts just beat the Chiefs on the road last week. We're done. We're done with that question. <laughs> yeah. Moving on to the next one. Uh, this is a very important question. What YouTube channel should you subscribe to? I wrote this question. No. I'm going to answer it. <laughs> you should subscribe to the touchdown table right now. Whee! Right now. Subscribe to it. Hit the bell as well. You're, gonna, you're not going to regret it. I can promise you that. All right, next question. This is almost a repeat of a question that we got. It's asking, what is your honest opinion on Mitchell Trubisky? Uh, we kind of talked about it, but there are two more questions in here, so I'll just kind of say it again. I'll let you two answer the next few questions. But like we said before, at least what I said before, I think Trubisky will improve. He has not been playing his greatest football, but I think after the bye week and after his injury, he will come back ready to play, and hopefully he will be playing good for, for a Bears fan's sake and for the Bears' sake. But let's go on the line. All right, this is a very big question for the touchdown table, particularly for Tyler and I, because even long before the season, we've been arguing about this. And the answer is, who will win the NFC West? Well, the question is, who will win the NFC West? All right. So, the answer to that question is the Los Angeles Rams. And yes, I know they're coming off back-to-back -back losses, but yes... I know Todd Gurley's right, but really, I think the Rams are truly the best team in that division. I said they were going to win the NFC West. I didn't say they faced any adversity. You look, that Seahawks game, they were right there. After that interception, they got to the defensive stop. They got themselves into a position where nine and a half times out of ten, Greg Zerline makes that kick and they win. In the Buccaneers game, before that, I think that was just a trap game for them. So I think the Rams are the best team in this division. Jerry Goff is going to continue to get better. And yes, Todd Gurley is hurt, but remember, the Rams' Super Bowl run was without Todd Gurley. So really, I think the Rams have one of the best offensive units in the league. The offensive line is good. The receiving core is good. Robert Woods is one of the most underrated receivers in the game. You got the, the best defensive player in the game, right now. Top person in the as one of the players that are being very tough. And the NFC West. And I think the Rams are really poised to go far in January. The Rams are the best team in this division. But someone else thinks something otherwise. I do think otherwise. I think the Seattle Seahawks are going to win this division. We got some applause. Thank you guys. Thank you. Um, I'm going to give a little bit of explanation um, as to why the Rams won't win, first of all. You can say, yes, they have a good roster on paper. You named a lot of their players. But I feel like the guys showed on the field a little bit more, especially in that Buccaneers game. Their offense was rolling, but the defense was not doing it much at all. Both these sides of the ball have got to do that at the same time. They have not been doing that. The Seahawks have been doing that right now. Russell Wilson is the MVP of this league. I'm going to say that right now. Going into week six, he's the MVP. He, got, he has great receivers, Tyler Lockett, DK Metcalf. Uh, their offense is rolling, and of course the running backs are starting to pick it up as well. And defensively, can, can, continuing to improve every week. So we have one more question now. So I'm going to be answered. Oh, well, we have two more questions now. I'm going to answer the first one. Uh, who will win the NFC North? Uh, well, we're in Chicago right now. I feel like I have to say Chicago Bears. I have to say it. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I do want to say, I do want to say though. I do want to say it's going to be very tough. They're in one of the toughest divisions. They're one of the toughest divisions in football. The Vikings have been a very good team. The Packers, who are currently winning this division, have been rolling on defense. Offensively, they're improving as well. Don't forget about those lines as well. Uh, other than that, week one game against the Cardinals, they've been looking really good. So it's going to be tough. This division's going to be close the entire year. In my opinion, the best division in football. We've got one more question, and this one is for the fans here. The question is, are you signing autographs today? And the answer is, if you want us to, we will. So, yeah! Yeah! Let's um, go! Then you can keep me in the room for when we get famous. You can say, hey, I knew him. I got his autograph. And, you know, it, it would be a great time. Hopefully, that would be something that would happen. I don't know if it would. That's the hope, though. So we will be signing autographs if we would like it after the show. Uh, he wants to finish off. Well, that's all the questions that we have. Uh, I just want to say thank you to all of you guys for being here. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. And I just want to say make sure to like the video. Subscribe.
and hit that notification bell as well. Comment down below. Don't forget about that either. A lot of things you can do with this channel. But just do them all, please. Alright, thanks again for watching this video, and we'll see you guys later.